Hello, I'm Degato and it's been a while, but I've come here to say Kiss of Life's Midas Touch is kind of a Y2K masterpiece, which is a bold claim to make considering for the past two years the landscape of K-pop has unequivocally been Y2K influenced. I mean, we've been overwhelmed with a bombardment of Y2K track after Y2K track to the point where many fans are getting tired of the chill fresh Y2K concept in K-pop. God, take a shot after every time I say the word Y2K in this video, oh my. Yet, in just one day, Kiss of Life has released a track that made me realize why we fell in love with this concept in the first place. Midas Touch isn't just a Y2K inspired song, it is a true 2000s portal through time, stolen directly from Britney Spears' vault like. But before we get into the musicality, let's discuss illusions and cinematography. The main illusion of note is in the song's title, Midas Touch, which refers to the story of Midas, a man who wished everything he'd touch would turn into gold, only for his greed to backfire on him when he turns his own daughter into gold. Kiss of Life takes this concept and flips it on its head. Kiss of Life has the Midas touch, but not the greed that accompanies it. Instead, they consume the greedy, their man-eaters. This fits so perfectly in the themes of the time the song is trying to mirror, as a lot of early 2000s female-led songs use sex and temptation as a means of empowerment during a time where speaking on women's issues and finding empowerment from oneself was discouraged. While this is still true today, but heavy on the time, women's sex and appeal were treated as a commodity to be tamed and acquired. Thus, one of the few ways women historically were able to leverage power was by reclaiming themselves and getting what they want through their appeal. This is why so many relics of the time depict women as black widows, sirens, catching men in their webs and using them for their own means. Ooh, spooky. <laughs> Some may argue falling back onto these stereotypes is reductive. But I feel like there is actual empowerment to be had from women being proactive, knowing their worth and getting what they want, even if it looks safe and digestible from a male gaze. God, even if you don't agree with my analysis here, isn't it so good that there's even actual analysis to be had? Truly, what can I say about songs like Untouchable? Itzy are badass and untouchable? What can I say about Dash and Mix Likes to Run? Story aside, the MV is so grandiose. We get these big shots with Greek architecture and charming, tacky CGI that completely ties in together the 2000s concept. There's so many satisfying transitions in the music video too, like the statues falling and breaking leading into the chorus, or the statues heartbreaking leading into Julie literally being inside of his heart. With the chill wave from K-pop, I haven't seen an MV this grand that wasn't a dark girl crush song in so long. Oh, and don't even get me started about the Britney homages. They have the same bad CGI motorcycle scene from Toxic, with a beautiful reverse from Britney holding on to the male love interest to Natty being held by the male love interest. The girls are in control of this era and the MV shows it any chance it gets. The outfits are amazing too. They are sexy and bratty and take up the whole space. I mean, Belle just casually in a peacock dress? Like, where did that come from? We see Julia in a grunge outfit too that any Disney kid would have killed for it. And Hanel just looks so expensive. But yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about the music video. Now let's get into the sound. This song gets everything about the 2000s right. The guitar strums covered up by artificial saw stabs. Can't go back, can't go back. Another relic of this time was just how overly synthetic and electric these songs were, mainly because it was kind of like new and fresh at the time and it made things feel really modern and futuristic, which it's funny because in retrospect it's what makes these things feel so dated. But um, Kiss of Life leaning so hard into this and the song feeling so synthetic just really helps aid in the Y2K feeling. More on to the song, every kick sounds like a punch and every snare feels like a slap. The piercing synths leading the background, even the effects with the woos and the whistles. The song just thrives in the soundscapes of the early 2000s. Again, with Britney references, they give us a little toxic line. And also, is it just me or does the leading line into the chorus sound like they're about to say, I'm not that innocent? People are comparing the sound to Bratz, and honestly, the comparison is perfect. The song is so diva and playful. As a Twitter user would say, this is cunt. The girls were nine months pregnant when recording this and knew what they had to deliver. Okay, what am I reading? <laughs> but yeah, 
All this goes to show that Kiss of Life just knows how to make good music and are so versatile. One of my favorite parts of Kiss of Life is just how much they will change their vocals to fit the song they're on. And Midas Touch, they give us both the rasp and vibrato of Britney Spears' earlier songs. But also we get moments of higher nasally tones just like the classic sound Britney became known for. They fuse it so effortlessly, you'd think this is how they always sing. Or for a song like Shh that lives in the soundscapes of 2010's R&B hip hop, we get these delicious Ariana Grande reminiscent runs and performative high notes like the pop girlies were doing at the time. Again, look at Natty's 90s inspired jerk coat. She's so soulful and airy and goes through the lines effortlessly, really helping the song's sultry 90s energy. Kiss of Life is just so versatile. Like Enmix, they really sound good on any track you put them on because they just know what to do. I really hope Kiss of Life keeps on creatively playing on nostalgia because they do it like no other K-pop group. If we're going to keep going so hard on the 2000s concept in K-pop, I want more tracks like Purple Kisses Sweet Juice. I want more tracks like Eyes Wave. Tracks that actually take sounds from the era. Ditto did something amazing. Instead of focusing on sounding 100% faithful to the 2000s, it instead told a story and painted a nostalgia filtered picture. But so many groups just heard the East Coast Club and saw the Y2K outfits and called it a day and just copied that. It's caused the industry to become so oversaturated with the same aesthetics and sounds. And I feel like such a fraud for saying that now because I was so in love with the Y2K East Coast Club scene in K-pop. But it's just been ran dry of all it's had to offer by the k-pop industry falling back onto it i'm definitely starting to ramble and i won't be elaborating on these thoughts too much just in case i make a video about micro trends in k-pop and why they last so long but i'm saying all of this just to explain why midas touch feels like such a breath of fresh air so yeah these are most of my general thoughts on kiss of life and midas touch i truly can't wait to see what else they come up with and what direction they go in after this Thank you so much for watching this video. Stream birth by Artemis and stay tuned in for Lucimbo's comeback. Oh, I don't I don't know, I guess I'm mad. I mean just support Luna. Yeah.